Hello, I'm Jerry Fort. Got Jeremy Ford over here. We're gonna do a eggnog review. I guess people, you know, having Halloween parties or something, they they get eggnog, <clears throat> or if they're using the reason of it being the fall season, they put out the eggnog. Uh, otherwise, you don't usually see eggnog until usually around Christmas time. You know, mm -hmm. but I saw four or five different, maybe not that many, at least four different eggnogs they have out now. And uh, I don't know, um, I, we got some new subscribers that are probably familiar with a lot of our older um, reviews, but Jeremy and I did mm -hmm. a, uh, I mean, we did a bunch of eggnog reviews. We was trying to find the best one. And, um, <clears throat> I can't remember which one. Is it Brahms? Probably. I think it was too. I can't remember for sure. Um, but uh, yeah, we enjoyed that. It was fun. Um, this, I'm pretty sure this didn't win. This, I, no, and I can't remember how, how good it was. But we have a certain thing that we look for in an, in an eggnog. Uh, we look for consistency. Is it consistency? The thickness, mm. the thickness of the eggnog, we look for whether or not it has the the uh, um, her herbs. No, seasoning mm. like cinnamon or hazelnut. We want to see the color. We want to see mm. the proof that it's in there, and uh, so that's another thing we look for. Mm -hmm. um, we just look for a good a good taste, not imitation. Mm -hmm. Some of them we found like maybe two that just kind of had a an eggnog wannabe kind of taste. Wasn't it? Wasn't that good. So I can't remember where this one was on the list, and I haven't watched our old reviews to, to see. But we're going to do a revisit of this and then let this, you know, be the opportunity to let you guys know if you want to watch some of our old ones, watch our eggnog reviews. You might enjoy it. I don't know. But, uh... Okay. <clears throat> okay, so... Uh, what I didn't tell you was, this is Southern Comfort Traditional Eggnog Ultra Pasteurized Non-Alcoholic at 190 calories. Um, the ingredients include... Uh, milk, cream, high, high fructose corn syrup, sugar, uh, corn syrup, egg yolks, natural artificial flavors, spice, fat-free milk, guar gum, carrageenan, mono and diglycerides, annatto and turmeric, um, contains milk and eggs. But I did see some things that are usually in, you know, traditional eggnogs, the, uh, it just said spice. It didn't say cinnamon or, or hazelnut or anything like that. So, well, let's take a look at this. Okay. Uh, I'm seeing a couple little things in there. Mm -hmm. You seeing some in yours? Mm -hmm. uh, the color is, um, it's almost yellow. It's not really vanilla. Is that what you're getting? Almost a light yellow? Yeah, a bit. Or maybe a little, almost orange. Not the lighting, is it? I wouldn't say orange, but... Let's get an aroma. I'm getting that annatto. Mm -hmm. Getting that very light vanilla. The annatto is very strong in this. It's... Oh... Can't remember. I think they have like coffee creamer that has annatto in it. It's it's sweet. It's kind of minty, a little mm -hmm. bit. I think. But I'm smelling that more than anything else. Mm -hmm. I don't have a bad feeling about this one, but it does have color in it. I mean, it has color in the way of spices. They're not very thick, but let's see what we got. That's thick. 
that is thick, so it's got a good good uh, mm -hmm. consistency in the way of thickness. Mm -hmm. um, getting the annatto, not as strong as we did it on the aroma. Getting a little mm. bit more vanilla. Kind of has a ginger taste a little bit. Let me see. Kind of gingerbread. Sure does, a little bit. Gingerbreads mm -hmm. are made with cinnamon too. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I'm getting that too. Um, mm -hmm. It's milky too. Uh, distributed by HP Hood LLC, 6 Kimball Lane, Linfield, mm -hmm. Massachusetts. I think MA. Okay, well, it's it's different than your typical one. Yeah, definitely is different than a, than a a traditional. And this says mm -hmm. traditional, but hmm. it's, it's good. It's good. Yeah, yeah it's good. Um, but we've had better. <clears throat> well, let us know if you guys are eggnog fans and if it's something that you <clears throat> enjoy I'll probably pick up a few more of these as I see them and we'll do revisits of them if y'all are interested you can watch them okay well <clears throat> yeah they leave a nice light, light medium sweetness behind on the, on the aftertaste it's milky, some vanilla, got a little cinnamon, a little ginger, a little gingerbread man dancing around in there. Um, pretty good. All right, let us know if you've tried this one and if you liked it or what's your favorite. If you have a favorite, if you have a Brahms nearby in your area and you've had theirs and if you liked it, let us know if you liked that one. And uh, we'll end it there. We thank you all for watching. See you all in the next one. Bye-bye.